Hey guys, Two Tone Joe here. Um, like my Copper uh, Finds video 2014, um, I wanted to do a, a Silver 2014 find, so um, that includes uh, jewelry and little miscellaneous things. Um, so I got them all lined up here on the bed. It's kind of like the only big place that I could place all this stuff on here, and then it you know kind of sticks out better. Uh, I didn't want to put it on the table because it's wood, so I don't know, it just didn't really stick out or look good on camera, so I put it on here. Uh, anyways, I will go ahead and start from the bottom here and move all the way up. Um, as you can see, I got seven uh, war nickels this year, um, ranging from 1942 all the way to 45. So, that's pretty cool. Um, this all metal detecting finds, too. Um... Let's see, right here, I'm going to go to the jewelry. Um, pretty interesting thing is this was my first ever silver find. Really cool. Yeah, it's a pretty big piece, too. Solid silver with a, looks like a little turquoise in there. It's a little bear pendant. I guess I went on a necklace. I was uh, visiting my now fiancé uh, in college and just decided to go to a local park and play with my uh, detector that I recently got and found that so really cool and then here just some silver rings older this is pretty old silver ring here this one's got stones in it uh, here's another really old one really pretty vintage looking another one big yellow stone in it Um, and one more ring. Another older vintage style ring. And then I got a St. Jude pendant. So that's cool. Found that at a house. Um, and this large piece here, I got towards the end of this year. Uh, it's a, uh, a Sharps badge, I believe, or a, uh, what is it called? It's a badge for the U.S. Army, uh, and actually it sits like this, and right here is where each time they would uh, pass a certain uh, gun, I think, in the uh, shooting at, you know, targets, uh, they'd get that certain gun hung right here from the badge, so that's really cool to find that. Uh, didn't find any pieces there, so, or and no name, so I couldn't return it but it's not going anywhere so that's really cool to have um, and then <laughs> probably the smallest pieces of silver I've ever found right here tiny little one I found just a little uh, religious pen I'm not sure if it's Jesus or who it is on the on the front there but oops sorry but actually it says sterling on it so that's cool and this one I tested also sterling just a tiny little heart and that the CTX picked that up, and it, it rang up. It's so small, it rang up like ni a nickel. But something that small ringing up like a nickel, that's still a big signal for something so small. So I had a feeling it was silver, and it was. So that's really cool. Cool little things there, pieces of jewelry. Um, as for, here we go, we got for coins, quarters. We got Washington quarters here, uh, ranging from 41 all the way to 58. So really cool. Uh, barber quarters got some really nice ones my first one was this 1893 one and uh, that was really cool to find that uh, but yeah this 1916 is in beautiful condition still has a little uh, ridges around the edge there beautiful quarter love those barbers um, and then the big boys, I didn't get any dollars this year, but that's on my bucket list. Uh, hopefully, um, here in 2015, I will, uh, get some, some dollar coins. I don't know, I'll take any of them, as long as they're silver, because I've gotten a couple clads, but either or. Uh, my first, uh, barber was this, actually, an 1898 barber half dollar, sorry. Uh, Moment mark, so New Orleans. So it's a little white, warm, but hey, it's a half dollar. That is freaking cool. So when I found that, I actually found that 
in a hole with two Washington silver quarters. Two, one of these, two of these. So I'm not sure which ones. I forget the dates, which one, but it was two of these in with this. So that was really cool. Um, then they got an 1899. Oh, uh, and that's plain. And I found that at the old church. And uh, Eddie and uh, I and a bunch of other guys have hunted around, so I found that there. Um, and then I've got a 1901 I found towards the end of the 2014 season. And that is also plain. So, beautiful. And this I found, and this is in great condition. I, I think it's one of the most beautiful coins we made was this uh, uh, Walking Liberty Half Dollar. Or striding Liberty half dollars, some people say. But beautiful coin and just in beautiful condition. 1942. So yeah, that's an 1898, 1899, and 1901 Barber halves and a Walking Liberty 1942. And then let's see, up to the Rosies. Um, bunch of Rosies. I didn't really put them in a specific date order. I mean. Um, Nothing too crazy, but hey, they're silver rosies, and I enjoy digging them. Anytime I can get silver, I'm happy. Um, this one, though, specifically, I dug with Eddie at uh, just like an old church spot, another church, and it came out of the ground looking like it came out of the mint. This thing is beautiful. I could not believe it. It's a 1962, and I'm, just the luster on that is just insane. So that's pretty cool. Uh, working up to the Mercs. Let's see, um, the oldest Merc I got this year was a 1917, um, I actually, that was, a was it, two videos ago when I got that at, uh, the old school on my five silver day, so, it was pretty cool to get that, um, oh wait, I'm sorry, that was this year, so that's another 1917 Merc, last year I still got a 1917, but, Let's see if I can find it. It looks like a 1917. It's worn, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and then Barbers here. I got some Barbers, uh, what is it, five of them. Really nice Barbers. Uh, the best condition one I have is this guy right here. So I can get in the light. Uh, Still got the ridges around the edge. 1913 uh, also. Actually, I posted this one on one of the forums I'm on, and you can actually see the corn cob still right there on the sides. <laughs> I mean, the actual individual corn kernels, too, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then this uh, real interesting piece. This is an uh, 1875 seed at Liberty Nine. But the special thing about this, believe it or not, this is my first ever silver coin. Uh, when I found it, I had no idea uh, that this, what it, you know, what it was. I, you know, I knew it was a United States coin, but I didn't know the specific name of it. It was a dime, so of course, brought it home, did the typical research, and read all about it, and I was just blown away. This happened to be my first silver coin, and I didn't get any more seated, of course, the rest of the year, so. I don't know if it was the curse of the seeds or what, but I'm hoping to break that curse this year. But to find that, it's just, it blows me away. And of all places, I found it at where my parents live, which they live on a private lake area. I found it up on top of the beach, not in the sand, but like in the dirt area before you get to the beach as you're walking down there. And the thing about this private lake, it used to be a lot, uh, farmland. So there's a barn in the bottom of it and everything. So... I'm guessing Farmer dropped this at some point in time and probably wasn't having a good day when he found out he didn't have it So, because I'm, I'm pretty sure that was worth a lot of money back then. Um, and then one of my favorite silver finds of the year, a bucket lister. And it's not in the best condition because we found it at a burnt down site. We believe it was burned down because we were digging. It was black soot soil and you know charcoal and all kinds of stuff. But this is a, an American three cent piece. Uh, I'm just so ecstatic to be holding this in my hand and to, you know have one of these you know, that I found. It, it just it's awesome. So um, 
to fill this, you know, it's my bucket lister, and I'm just just blown away still when every time I look at it, I'm so happy that I got it, you know. So that was really cool. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm thinking, you know, a bucket lister this year would be it would be nice to get a silver dollar, whether it's a Morgan or a Peace or any others, you know, kind of silver dollar that that would be cool with me. I don't care. I'm happy with whatever I get. I'd like to get some more seeds, but you know, you just gotta find the, the uh, places and put your coil over top of it and dig the signals to find those. So, um, all together, I had uh, 80 silver coins. So that uh, that was pretty cool. I'd like to see if I can beat that next year. Won't be easy, because you know a lot of these spots were you know virgin spots that I hit this year, and I'm gonna have to. You know, expand out and find more houses and get more permissions and either more parks or old schools. So we'll see about that. Um, but oh, one more thing about this three cent piece is uh, it was video that I, I think you guys might have seen if you've seen Eddie's video where we went to a hunted out park. Actually, this is on one of my one of my earlier videos. Went out to a hunted hunted out park and I found this at a park. So a really old park. Probably one of the oldest in Ohio, I think. And, uh, but yeah, to find silver like this at a park, you just, you're like, seriously, couldn't believe it. And I think Eddie actually found a half dime in that video, too. Uh, but really cool. And just happy that I have this amount of silver in my first full year of hunting. So, uh, thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see how I might do my buttons next, uh, which I've, you know, grown to fall in love with buttons with the ones that I've found especially military, so. Okay, see y'all later. Thanks.